Welcome to the Kiona Academy for Webport. Today we will look at Blockly scripting and how to use that in combination with the Kiona API for spot price on electricity. The Blockly system generates script from puzzle pieces and reduces the programming skill required to create complex or automated actions in Webport. Let's start with an overview of the workspace and some basic examples. Scripts in Webport can be found under System Settings, then Scripts. Today we will focus on loop scripts, which are used to run automated tasks with a cyclic interval. We first create an example script, giving it a name and an interval. Switch the view to Blockly. To the left we find the library of building blocks, in the shape of puzzle pieces. They are divided into categories, making it easy to find blocks of the same type. A category may also include sub-categories, as shown here. Let's make a first example by dragging the return block to the workspace and entering the text Hello World. Then save and run the script to see the result. To see the actual code, use the top menu and select script. The generated code is visible between the Blockly comments. Now, let's see how we can use the Kiona Spot Price API to get data on energy prices. First, we need to add some helper blocks. The first is HTTP request that enable us to request data from the internet. The second is Kiona API Helper that enables calls to Kiona APIs. Now we add the spot price block to the return statement and set the desired area code for where we want the pricing information. We also need to enter an API key. This can be requested from the Webport support team. When we save and run the script, we can see the resulting price in euros per megawatt hour. For more information, visit the support section for Webport and Blockly scripting on Kiona.com. With that we end our session. Thank you for watching.